Okay, welcome to episode 14 of the Learning React in 2021 series. Today we're going to be talking about production builds, how you can sort of optimize things with a production build, and also how to integrate GitHub with your production build. So you can actually have your project up on GitHub running in a place that everyone can see and use your app. All right, so number one, the production build. There is in your package.json file, we've got these four scripts. Now I talked about these a little bit in the very first video in the series. We've got start, which starts our development server. Great, wonderful. Build, this is the command that we're gonna be looking at right now specifically. If I run the build command, it's gonna be doing the production build version. So inside of Webpack, you've got settings for production and development. The development settings are all about getting your app up and running quickly. Not necessarily about the performance, not optimizing things. I showed a few things in the first video, like the fact that your styles that you're putting with all your components, like in here, we've organized in our source, we've got a components folder. Mm -hmm. All of our components have their own folder. And so the CSS for each component is inside there for each of these. And that's great for organizing code as a developer. It's easy to find things, but you wouldn't want to have, let's say I've got 30 components. You're not going to want 30 separate style tags that are injected in the head of your HTML file. You're going to want one compressed, optimized CSS file that's linked to, it's downloaded, it's cached by the browser, and it runs. Same thing with JavaScript. You're not going to want a ton of separate scripts. You're going to want one production build or perhaps some chunking to take place where you put um, the core of what's needed inside of your main chunk, and then you've got some conditionally loaded things. React can see some of that stuff and, and do some of that work for you. So let's start with the build command. I'm just gonna run yarn build. If you're using NPM, you can say NPM uh, run build, sorry, not barn, but build. <laughs> and when I run this command, what it's gonna do is it's gonna create a build folder right here at the root of the project. And this is gonna be the optimized version. Now you can, if you want, run this in the browser. So yarn start starts up the production build. So if I did that right now, yarn start, we've got our build folder, it's completed now. Inside of here, you can see right at the root, there's the index.html file, that's your website. And then inside of static, there's all the assets. Okay, so I'm gonna let that run so we get that started up. And we're looking at the development version here, localhost 3000. This is the development version of our site. And if I want, here, I'm gonna shut that down. If I wanna see the build version running, what I have to do is I have to use, there's an NPM module called serve, and we can do NPX serve. I don't have to install it or anything, just NPX serve. And then I want to do it, uh, it's the build folder that I want. That's the one that I'm going to run. And if I open this up a little bit, you can see localhost 5000, that's where it's running. So I jump in here. If I change my port number to 5000, okay, there's my project. Vis visually, it's the exact same, which you would hope because it is the same thing that you've built. But if we look inside of here, we look in the elements especially, you'll see that inside the head, I don't have all these style tags. What I get instead is one big CSS chunk file that's been built of all the little bits and pieces. Um, down here at the bottom, I've only got these few script tags right here. This one I think is the, um, I think that's the one that the serve injects, but then we've got these two, those are our static ones. These are the ones that we're getting from that production build. Okay, awesome. So that's the production build. Now, what about putting it up on GitHub? Well, there's a great little tool, another NPM module that you can install called GH Pages. And if you've ever worked with GitHub, and if you're familiar with GitHub Pages, that is the sort of hosted version of whatever you've built. If you've built a website, you can host it. You can get to it through settings. And if we go to pages, this is the GitHub pages section. Right here, the source, you can pick, okay, what branch do you want? And if I picked a branch, 
they'll say, okay, do you want the root folder or is there a docs folder and we'll serve that one. Without having to do any of this, so I'm not going to save this. I just come back in here. If I were to create a branch and I were to name that branch gh.pages, that will turn whatever branch I've got, like this will be cloning off of main here, but GH Pages is now going to be automatically the thing that's fed into the GH Pages server and it's going to become my website. The URL is going to be, instead of github.com, it's github.io. My username comes in the front as the subdomain, so professorsteve.github.io and then slash React 2021 series. So that name becomes the root folder. And then whatever you've got inside your project, that comes after the React 2021 folder. So what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to take just my build folder and put that inside of a GH Pages branch. So the way we're going to do that is in our package.json file, we need to add a couple things. We're going to add a home page. And this is going to be that location that I was just talking about. So HTTPS, and then for me, it's going to be my username. So Professor Steve GitHub.io, and then the name of my repo. So this is your username, and then your repo name, and it is the React 2021 series is the name of my repo. This right here, React 2021 series. And that's it. That is the homepage. That is the base URL for everything. I don't need the slash at the end, but this is the base URL. And this is where I want to put my build folder. Okay, so I've got homepage added. Now I need to add as a dev dependency, not just a dependency, but a development dependency, the GH pages node module. So npm install or yarn add and it is called GH Pages, same as what that branch would be called. And then it's going to be a dev dependency, dash capital D. NPM install GH Pages dash capital D or yarn add. Now we've added this into our project. And that's dependencies. Here we go at the bottom. There's dev dependencies, GH Pages version 3.2.3. Okay, so that's installed. And the last step is inside of scripts, we're going to add two more. One of them is going to be called deploy. You can call it anything you want, but it's really doing a deploy of our project. And we're going to call yarn. Uh, oh, sorry, not yarn, GH pages. We want to run GH pages and we want to deploy the build folder. So, it's telling this module to go grab the build folder and make that the build folder, uh, or deploy that build folder to GH pages. And if it doesn't have a GH pages branch, then create a GH pages branch. That's what this module does is it connects to GH pages using whatever Git information you have in your project. It will then create the GH pages branch if it doesn't exist and then upload the build folder. Now, this in itself, I already have the build folder, so I can run this right now. I can say I want to yarn deploy. And that's going to work. It's going to run this. It's going to create. There we go. Published. It created the branch. It uploaded the build folder. So if I come back in here and we refresh this, now, inside of here, right here at the bottom, GH Pages. There it is. And if I go to that, this is my build folder. So this actually, if I switch over to a new spot here and I rewrite this. So professorsteve.github.io slash react 2021 series. And then it is the index.html file right at the home. Sometimes it can take a couple of minutes, but this is going to be our React app. 
Okay, we'll give that a second to uh, be transferred from Git to the GH pages, two different servers. So we'll give it a minute to do that. In the meantime, there's one other script. I said there was two to add in here. This is the first one, the deploy, and that works because I had a build folder. But what if I didn't have that folder yet? Or what if I've made a bunch of changes since the last time I ran the build command? Well, we're going to tie into the whole pre-script thing. We can say pre-deploy. And this script is going to run, if I run the deploy command, it knows that it's supposed to, NPM and Yarn both know that it's supposed to look for one called pre-deploy and run this one before the deploy command. And what do we want it to do? Well, I want it to do yarn build. I want that to happen first. I don't have a build folder or I need a new version of the build folder. So now if I run yarn pre-deploy, it will do my build process, create the build folder. My whole project is optimized and put inside there. And then it does the pushing up to GitHub and to the GitHub pages branch. Back in here, I I know I said that we didn't need that final slash, but I do think that we actually do need that slash right there. So I'm going to do that. One other thing to note is if you do not make any changes to your code, when you run the build script, it knows that everything's the exact same. So we're not going to get any updates. I'm going to just change this. I'm going to say slash instead of hash bang, just to have a change over here. We'll save this. And then we run our yarn deploy command. So again, deploy is going to run GH pages. And then uh, this is what the deploy command runs. But before that happens, the pre-deploy pre command will kick in and it will do a brand new build for us. And then we're going to push this up. So yarn deploy. There we go. Rebuild that. And I added the slash to the end here. I think that's what I was missing. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this is refreshed. Yeah, so updated. And there we go. There we have it running on GitHub. This is our website, the same as the one that we had down here. So whether it's on our own server or GitHub, both way, oops, I closed that, didn't I? <laughs> um, if I go into settings on the GitHub repo, if we go to the pages thing, you'll see here's the link itself. And I'll click on that to open it up. So here's the github.io version. And there it is with the slash right at the end. So the hash router that we were talking about in the previous video, that's up and running here as well. Okay, so we've got our, oh, the server, I turned the server off to do the build command. But it's running the same on both locations. So that's all you need. If you want to deploy a build version, and you really should, before you're ready to deploy anything, do the build command itself. Test things locally, make sure things are working. If you're gonna be doing any performance testing, use the build command to do that. So locally you have the build version that you're testing. Then you can add the GH pages dev dependency, add the two scripts for pre-deploy and deploy, and add your home page, and then Every time you run your deploy command, it's going to do both the GH pages and the yarn build command put together. All right. So I hope that helps you out. Have fun with that. Post your sites and I'll leave my GH pages branch up here. So if you want to play around with it, it's there. There's the version that I built. All right. As always, thanks for watching.